<laughs> Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Today we're looking at the week of October the 14th to the 20th, which uh, means we're still in Libra. Um, and that's the first star sign we're going to start with. But as usual, always we have a look at the overall energy for the week to come. So again, it's the week October the 14th to the 20th. Let's see what the overall energy um, has for all of us before we go into our very first star sign of the day. So, let's have a look. We have the spider and the hawk. So the overall energy of the day is to be vigilant. The spider creates the web of life. You create your web of life. So make sure that you give, uh, you make sure rather, to um, give enough space to the people that deserve it and limit the space of those situations or people who somehow impede your growth, who somehow make you feel less. So this is the week for you to remember. Look at your web of life. Look who's in your life, right? And then you have to hawk, who uses the, who uses the upthrust of the air to climb. So all they're saying is this week, you haven't got to do much. You, haven't, you don't have to fight anyone, if that makes sense. You don't have to have big arguments um, over energy-wise, uh, because obviously we haven't started with the star signs yet. But what they're saying is, as long as you are vigilant, Right? and then just glide and see what happens when you put your boundaries up and in place. That's all we need to do this week. That's all that is, is to have a look, a good look, at who is in your web of life and who needs to be restricted in your web of life, who can be given more space. Right? And first and foremost, this is all about security in a way and safety. So when you have the web of life or the spider as your symbolism, what they're saying is keep yourself safe. And this week you keep yourself safe by making sure that you decide how much space and energy you give to those um, that you know limit your energy somehow. Okie dokie, short and sweet. That was the overall energy for the week, October 14th to the 20th. And now we're looking at our first star sign of the week, which is Libra. Pretty much not the same, but very similar to the overall energy. Libras, you got the ocelot and the horse. What they're saying is look or find a vantage point. You know, again, look at your world. Look at the people and the situations you spend time with. But because you have the horse, the main message for Libras is once you have found your vantage point, once you have a look at what's going on, right, walk away from situations um, that, that don't serve you. Walk away from people that drain you, right? There's many messages when, when, the, when the horse comes through, but what I'm getting here today uh, for, for Libra, um, sorry for, yeah, for, sorry for Libra, not with it, <laughs> is, you know, that, that law of freedom. So what they're saying is just walk away, find your vantage point, assess your life, and walk away from situations that aren't great. So, in other words, arguing, um, having your, your buttons pushed, and then respond in the way you would usually respond to things, isn't working this week. This is the week where you say, I'm walking away, right? So, short and sweet for Libra. I woke up this morning, and somehow my ears, it feels like I have been underwater for a long time, if that makes sense. Um, and I really haven't, <laughs> if that makes sense. So something is happening um, around me, so should I, should I shout at you? <laughs> That's just because my hearing is a little bit weird today, right? Anyway, so that was Libra going into Scorpio, and I'm drawn to this deck. Let's 
सी हो जाएगा उसको आप लोग I said that a lot in the past that oftentimes you know um, one star sign follows the other um, energetically, <coughs> just the same way that the the star sign messages follow the overall energy, if that makes sense. And um, Scorpio, you have the cat and totem. So the cat is saying, remember how independent you are, right? So independence is your thing, right? So they're not asking you to walk away; they're asking you to step back. And do your own thing. Don't get, don't immerse yourself in other people's issues, right? Because the next uh, symbolism that you have is totem, and totem, technically speaking, uh, means nothing else but family, right? And this week, oftentimes I say that when I get totem, it is more about family and people you you consider family. But I'm getting strongly that this is about flesh and blood. This energy is about flesh and blood, first and foremost. So what they're saying is, if there are issues with you and family members, if there are if there are things that happen in your family that drain you, where you feel like you know what, we've been over this numerous times. That's why do you, that's why you have to cat. What they're saying is, step back, be independent. Remember. You know, cats, they come to you and they can be very affectionate on their own terms. So they're not asking you to abandon people. All they're saying is if it is too much, step back and then rejoin the pride, as it were, <laughs> um, when you feel like it. Okay? And also, cats don't have to take criticism. Right? So if you say this week, you know what, it's all too much. Because what I'm getting is there's lots of politics within families, or there can be a lot of politics within families, you know, people sort of, everybody's trying to put their own angle in and get something out of it, that kind of stuff. What the guides are saying is, you don't have to do politics, right, you just have to walk away, right, and not for good, like I said, because you don't have the horse, you know, the star sign before that, you should, they're just saying to you, remember, you have that right and that option to just step back, right, so that was Scorpio, Going into Sagittarius, and I'm drawn to this deck. And we're looking at the week of October, the 14th to the 20th, right? Okay. For Sagittarius, it's quite, the message is quite spiritual. If that makes sense, because you have the otter and the dream trap. What they're saying to you is the otter is the animal similar sim symbolically that holds hands so the other otters don't drift off when they sleep. And then you have the, the dream trap, which means this is about you when you're asleep. Right? So what the guides are saying is they're trying to reach you, your guides are trying to reach you to help you to hold your hands so you do not drift off. Uh, with regards to the problems that you're facing in the here and now. So your guides are trying to reach you. Every time they bring up the dream world and say they're trying to reach you there, it means very likely you are either all over the place or too busy, um, so they can't really reach you. So what they're saying is also look at your activities. Are you stressed out? Are you too busy? Are you taking enough time to just be? Because that's the other message. Because you guys, like I said, are trying to reach you in your dreams. Um, it is really important when that symbolism shows up for you to have a little dream journal. Because we don't remember much, <laughs> if anything, of our dreams. As you come out of your dream in the morning, you write a one-liner or whatever it is you remember, you write it down. And then you do this for a couple of days and you will see a pattern. And once you see a pattern, it is much easier to figure out what the guides are actually trying to say to you. Bottom line is, they're trying to reach you, um, they're trying to hold your hand and say you're not alone, whatever it is you're going through, you are not alone, but we can only meet you at your energy. So when your energy is very low, they can't necessarily pull you up. They can only help you when you say, like, you know what, I deserve better. And that's sort of what this is about. Okay, that was Sagittarius. 
Let's go into Capricorn. Let's see what we got for Capricorn. <laughs> for Capricorns this week, and I can really see, like, like I see every time I record a video, it's quite interesting. Already there are patterns. Already there are things that have to do with the overall energy where they're saying be vigilant. Your job this week, Capricorns, is you have the lion and the bull. It means make sure that your territory is safe, right? So actually, in a way, it almost mirrors the overall energy, but the overall energy was just be vigilant. What your uh, animal guides say to you Capricorns is to, to say, don't just be vigilant, enforce it. Enforce your boundaries this week, right? Make sure your territory, the place that you regard as your life needs to be safe and the bull will be the animal that sort of you know um, you don't just enter <laughs> a bull's field if that makes sense so that's what they're saying is you know stand your ground and um, in a way and be um, be well vigilant yes vigilant is the word but the meaning is slightly different what they're saying is you need to pay attention Pay attention and, and let people know that there are boundaries to how they can treat you. Okay? That's all it is. So your territory this week has to be safe. Again, you have a, a, a big cat here, a lion, you know, which also is an animal that, that, that oftentimes, you know, they know when to walk away. They know when to say enough is enough, there's enough <laughs> hyenas at the moment here kind of thing. Um, and, and on my own, I can't fight them. So I walk away, but make sure that my territory is known, right? So that's, in effect, the, the message for Capricorns this week. 14th to the 20th of October, and now we're going into Aquarius. As you can see, hopefully a card already fell out, so it wants to be read. So let's see what we got. For Aquarius. Oh, they give us three. Okay. Okay. You have a couple of things. You have the journey and the shaman of reflection and the shaman of birth. So what that really means is you are the journeyer. You are on this journey. This is your path. This is your journey. And because you have the one in the middle, so to speak, we always pay more attention to, which is the shaman of reflections. So what they're saying is, remember, you are on the path, but this week, just reflect and see, where am I going? Do I get a sense of where I am going, or am I lost, or am I doing quite well? And what are the stumbling blocks that I am encountering? So be reflective of your spiritual journey. And this is, here's why, because you have the shaman of birth, which means once you start reflecting, which means you stop for a second, you look at the things that, that, that concern you. And the shaman of birth means that then, once you know, all right, I have to pay attention to this and this and this, you, you give birth to new things. You give birth to the next step in your journey, if that makes sense, right? So that's all they're asking you to do, Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius is <laughs> this week, right? Short and sweet. And now we're going into Pisces. My star sign. <laughs> Let's have a look at Pisces for the week of October the 14th to the 20th. Okay, for us Pisces this week, um, it feels it could be a week where your emotions catch up with you. So you have the horse and the wolf, or, or we have the horse and the wolf because I'm a Pisces myself. So what they're saying is, first and foremost, if you find a situation that still affects you, but the situation is essentially over, do not reconnect. Walk away as best you can. Don't go 
where you already knew or know it hasn't worked. And this could be work, this could be relationships. All they're saying is, because your emotions could get the better of, of you or of us Pisces this week, it is very easy if someone from the past uh, um, reconnects with you because you are already emotionally charged and emotionally um, affected by it. Therefore, likely you will be um, you will be um, what's the word? You will be responding to the things that are happening here. And so, what they're saying to you is, don't remember when enough is enough. Right? And allow yourself to cry this out if you, if you must. It's the same with work. If you, let's say, you are a person that had a couple of weeks off, and then you say, like, ah, oh, for crying out loud, I have to go back to that job, right? Then you got your answer. And when you say things like, well, but I have to pay my rent, then you close that door. Because you could work somewhere else and you can pay that rent. You're just not exploring it. And also, opportunities can't come to you because you're convinced without that job that you don't like. Nothing works, right? So that's why you have the wolf as well, or we as Pisces, we have the horse and the wolf. Where they're saying is, walk away, remember, you are emotionally, not compromised, probably the wrong word, but you are emotionally affected, we are, as Pisces, are emotionally affected this week, 14th to the 20th of October. And the wolf means, you know, you still have to run your pack, right? So um, it's not... A week where we can just switch off and leg it, <laughs> if that makes sense. All they're saying is, right, you are also still strong enough to do all the things that you are doing. You know, you can still do your job, you can still do all the normal things, you can still look after all the people you are looking after, if that makes sense, right? But you just need to realize um, that you need a bit more space this week because your emotions can get in the way. Reality is, when they say emotions can get in the way, they don't mean it quite that way. Because every time there is emotions coming up, it just means something is ready um, to, um, to get worked through, if that makes sense, right? Okay, so that was our spices, and now we're going into Aries, but um, I have the heating on, heater on this morning. It's super hot. So let me just switch this thing off, and then <laughs> I'll be back for Aries. Okay, <clears throat> we're back. <laughs> so, we have just um, finished with uh, Pisces. Now we're back with Aries. So let's have a look what we got for Aries this week. And we're looking at the week of October the 14th to the 20th. 20th. I'm actually in touch with a couple of readers at the moment, um, asking them to be uh, guest readers of mine. Um, so hopefully I will have another guest very soon. So here is Aries. <coughs> right. Aries. By all accounts, you will not have the easiest of weeks this week. Remember, the old world energy told you to be vigilant, right? Just to be vigilant, right? But Aries, you have the spirit of challenge and the spirit of destruction. So what they're saying is this will be a difficult week for some of you. This will be quite a difficult week. And the spirit of destruction means that whatever comes your way is um, not harmful as such. It is... Um, it needs solving, if that makes sense. Because destruction isn't always a negative term. You can destruct something harmful, right? And get it out of the way, if that makes sense. But you have the spirit of destruction, which means you have a, you have the spirit of challenge. So there is a there are challenges ahead this week, and some of them will be quite um, will be will be quite difficult, and there will be a lot of friction. <clears throat> if that makes sense. All the guides are saying is you will get through them, right? Because the guides are around you. All they're saying to you is this is not a week to um to hide for for you um Aries. This is not a week to um to um you know retreat 
This is too big to say like, you know, I've had enough of this and I'm going to look at it now and we're going to solve it once and for all. Right? So energetically speaking, <coughs> excuse me, the energy that they've given me is heavy. Right? So remember, that doesn't mean that, that it is super heavy. All they're saying is be prepared. Right? Um, again, be vigilant. That, that things that come to you this, this week um, will be, it will be better for your overall situation if you tackle them and not just go, uh, go on and, and you know, let them slide and let them come back another time. That's really all they're saying, okay? That was Aries going into Taurus. We draw to a different deck. <laughs> Life isn't fair, <laughs> is it? We just talked about Aries um, <coughs> having a potentially difficult week. That doesn't mean the whole week is difficult, it just means that there are elements that need to be seriously looked at. And then now we're moving into Taurus, and you guys have the moose and the deer. Both animals have antlers, which means you're fully protected this week. The moose is the animal that, they, that has a split hoof, so when things get difficult, you don't sink in. And you have the white tail deer, which tells you, you know, just relax, don't be chased during the day, right? And everything will be fine. So for Taurus, this is a quite, it is a, an easy week when you remember, and this is the trick here, when you remember that you are protected, and also when you remember that the, the difficulties that you're facing this week, you will master, right? The, the, the most important thing for you this week is to not respond to pressures, right? Just, you know what you need to do, you know what you have to do, be it work, be it relationship-wise, you know how things work. So don't let anyone um, push you uh, unnecessarily, right? So short and sweet for Taurus, feels to me that, that once you realize, you know, that, that you work very well, you know, um, not on your own as such, but, but you know, um, you work very well being left to your own devices once you know what you're doing. And you know what you're doing, right? That was Taurus going into Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> this week, what I'm going to say now is easier said than done. Because all they're saying to you, your job this week, 14th to the 20th of October 2019, is to be good to yourself. Now, can you do that? You have the dog and the swan. What they're saying is loyalty begins with you, right? So step back, allow yourself to be your best friend. Do only what you feel serves you, suits you, and you have the swan, which is the animal that says to you, you're waterproof, you can swim, you're not gonna drown, everything will be just fine, right? But the main message therefore is, all you have to do is to remember that sometimes if you are not, if you don't, if you are not number one, nobody will treat you as such. If you constantly give, People will constantly take, right? <clears throat> people are not bad people necessarily, they're just opportunists. So what the guides are saying this week, be your best friend. Just look at yourself and make sure you get some, you get some relief from the stresses of life. That's your job this week. And as you can see, the guides are pushing this quite a bit for you to understand that. Because um, I've noticed this a lot with, with people that sort of see me. Um, it's very hard for people to actually stop doing what they're doing and just be, right? Actually, in a way, it's quite an art, <laughs> if that makes sense, right? But that's Gemini for you this week, so be good to yourself, all right? You got this. And now we have Cancer, let's see what we got for Cancer. Draw into this deck. 
Let's have a look. So, you have the elk and smoke. What they're saying to you this week, um, whatever difficulties there are, you will manage. Really important. No matter what, what difficulties throw, uh, life throws at you this week, you will be fine, but you ought to cleanse your space, right? If there's anything that isn't right, cleanse that space, right? Um, clear the air, if that makes sense. That's what, that's what they're saying this week. This is not a good week for people who already feel frustrated or depressed because your energy, sounds a bit wrong, but the energy tends to hide there. Once you're depressed, that's where you're going. And all the guides are saying is, no, cleanse the air. Speak your, speak your mind, right? Speak your mind with compassion, but speak your mind, right? And first and foremost, there's really nothing to worry about this week. Remember, life is not getting more difficult. And anything that comes to you that feels difficult, as long as you express yourself, right, it's all going to be good. Okie dokie, short and sweet for Cancer. Now we're going into Leo. <clears throat> it's quite interesting. This week we have a lot of um, hoofed animals coming through. You know, like deer and moose and elks, and now we have the caribou here. So a lot of uh, forest animals um, make their presence felt this week, uh, which also means um, that's probably where we all should be going, right? Um, you know, nature is, and I always say that, is one of the best allies you can possibly ask for and have. So that's what I'm getting first and foremost. Now we're with um, Leo, we have the caribou and birds. What they're saying is, you are quite protected. The caribou, also otherwise known as the reindeer, you know, you have antlers, life is good, right? But you seem to be in a transformative state. So allow for, the, therefore, for new beginnings and new ideas to take hold. Because you have birds, plural, what they're saying is, you know, rise above things, see things come to you, and allow yourself to see and accept new ideas. Because that's what this video is about. So the other thing that I get is that this is not going to be a very difficult week. It's just a week where you kind of go like, you know, not much is happening. And the guys are saying as well, there might be, you're just not looking, <laughs> right? So elevate yourself, right? Push aside the things that are heavy in your life. Just push aside them, push them aside. And then just elevate yourself and say, like, okay, where am I at? What is it I want to achieve? What is it I want to do? And then look at that to manifest it, right? So that was Leo. Going into our, our last star sign, star sign for the week, which is um, Virgo. There we go. Right. <laughs> for Virgo, our last star sign of this week, October the 14th to the 20th. 2019, you have the barn owl and the mouse. What they're saying to you is this. The owl draws an auditory map so she can catch the mouse in the undergrowth, right? Without getting affected. Interestingly enough, your second spirit guide is the mouse. So sometimes you bite yourself in the ass, right? You can be in the way. You can be your own worst enemy. That needs to change this week. So what they're saying is, just listen to what's going on around you and remember first and foremost that your perception and your intuition is bang on. That's what they're saying to you, right? Don't be your worst enemy. Don't go into like, oh, it's all shit and then, and then live your week as if everything is shit. <laughs> if that makes sense. So you, can, you can't do that. What you can't go like, okay, there are some issues here, you know, but I'm going to assess it and then know exactly what's going on, right? And once you know that, you, you, your reactions will be different, right? So short and sweet, 
I apologize for my lowish energy. It's just I woke up with this problem with my with my ears, with hearing, and, and somehow it, it affects my balance a little bit. Right. So um, so that's why I basically just looked into what the guides gave me quickly and didn't go too deep because oftentimes, as you know, I get much more. Um, somehow I'm a bit, um, you know, I don't know, affected by that phenomenon that I woke up with, if that makes sense, right? So that's all we have time for. Um, internet is working again, yay! <laughs> Had another engineer out though, and so I hope it, it's all good. So um, I'm sure we will do these videos uh, now uh, much more regularly, and as always, please share them widely, because that's what we're doing it for. It's free guidance, free advice. You know, the guides come here, you know, um, we're, we're using, we're, in a way, we're using them, we're asking for guidance. They, they freely give their time, I freely give my time, so it makes sense to share this widely, right? And that's all we have time for. See you all very soon. Bye!